Hello everyone. We're going to go over a few modules that haven't been talked about that much. The passive targeting array and the auto targeting array or automated targeting unit. So I'm going to show uh, this is an Arisu versus a Falcon um, and show how these modules work or don't work. So the Falcon is now going to jam the Arisu. What we're going to do is we're going to look at, now that the um, Arisu is getting jammed, we're going to look at the use of these modules to see if we can bypass the jamming. So the passive targeting array and the auto targeting array. So the auto targeting array says, okay, I click on it and it's going to automatically target, right? And anything that's aggressing you, it automatically targets those things. It can be a quite a useful thing. But as you can see, he's jammed out, and he's not targeting the um, uh, the the falcon. So now let's try the passive targeting. This is the one that targets without the other player knowing. So we click on it, and then we click on the player we want to target, and it says, um, "Well, we can't target it because since we're being jammed, we can only manage zero targets." So. And the number of targets is determined not only by whether or not you're being jammed, but also by the skill that you've trained up with your skill books. Um, even if you have some modules that add to it, let's see which one adds to it. I think it's this one. Um, auto target array gives two bonus to the maximum targets when online. Right now it's online. So I can target two more things with it if I'm not being jammed. And right now, okay, I wasn't being jammed. Uh, right now I am being jammed. So now that's plus two. If you look at the ship fitting, it says, and this is the fitting that, that I have right now, it says what? Let's see, number targetable right now is zero. Once he stops getting jammed, that number is going to gonna jump up. Let's see, it's still at zero. Let me have him stop. Okay, so the Falcon, the Falcon's going to stop jamming. There's the stop jamming, and now we see maximum of nine while it's online. We'll go ahead and use the passive targeting array. Target him, and at this point, uh, you can see that there's some yellow flashing brackets around this because it's showing me that the Falcon is targeting me. This shows me that it's targeting me. On the Falcon side, he cannot see any flashing, anything, any uh, no yellow flashings. So um, the passive did work. I clicked on it. I targeted um, the Falcon without it knowing. Now it knows I'm here. It just doesn't know that I'm targeting it right now. And that's pretty much what the passive does. That's about it. Um, it does not bypass jamming. This doesn't bypass jamming either. Now I turn this off. You know, take a note. At the 9x, let's see, it's 9 target locks. I turn it on, still 9. So apparently, it's not having any effect. It might just be that it has an effect while it's online. So let's put it offline. 9x. It's offline, now it's 7x. So it doesn't actually have to be active, it just has to be online. If that makes any sense to you. So. There it is, online, and you notice it takes a lot of cap. I just right-clicked and said, put online. It took a lot of my cap, and now it's online. Okay, so there's a little short introduction to those two uh, targeting modules. I hope that helps you to understand a little bit more about how those modules work. Um, in another video, we're going to talk about these two ships, but we're going to use some of these E-War modules to kind of help you understand how those work. All right. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and uh, uh, hope to see you around.